Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Uh, I'm so excited about today. We're going to do another one of these amazing Viona style split cup straight pours from up high. I just wanted to show you this last one dry. This is Flames of Love. And when I shot the outro, we were losing the sun, so I don't know if you could see the bronze blinging. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys with so you could see the bronze blinging because that has a lot to do with what we're going to do today. So this one was really fun. Colors. We're going to do another 18 by 24 just like that one. Let me show you my colors first. This first one we are using is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. And I love, love this color. I am checking consistency to see if the sauce has thickened upon standing like my friend Gina DeLuca says. This looks pretty good though. Mound on a mound and then melting into itself pretty quick. Okay, so that's our turquoise thalo. Then we are using one of these amazing Amsterdam pearls. This is pearl green. I've been watching my lovely friend Fiona do these incredibly daring experiments using the entire line of the Amsterdam pearl series, which they all look white when they're wet, but then when they're dry, they show up and it just does amazing things. So maybe we'll get some of that effect going. I see the faintest of pearlescentness <laughs> on the stick right now, but this is pearl green and I haven't put anything else in there with the pearl green. So hopefully we'll get a good result. We'll see some of that. Um, the next one we have is Payne's Gray from Golden. Amazing color. I feel like it's not quite as dark as I usually have it, but I don't want to add more to it because it's a pretty good consistency right now. Okay, so that's the Payne's Gray. And then we are using this lovely one. This is Fevio Studios Acrylics in Iridescent Copper. And I was mentioning the bronze where I showed you guys that one before because I want to put the bronze in the... Oh, hello, Bee. He's been hanging out all day long. Honey, there's no flowers in here. Can you go outside? Because you smell so sweet. <laughs> You're very cute. Okay, so that's the iridescent copper. For the record, I don't like bugs. I do like bees, though. I always try to help bees and plant things for the bees. Plant things for your bees. So, anyway. So that's our iridescent copper. And then, last but not least, we have this lovely little beauty that we've used a few times. This is Deco Art in Jadeite. It's the extreme sheen. Very reminiscent of pearl pistachio, which I also love, but this is a little bit more minty. Very cool stuff. And I want to show you something. This bottle has not been opened yet. I want to show you the oil that's on the top. Can you see that HOA? Uh-huh. So I think that's the magic oil <laughs> for deco art. But when you use this, make sure you mix it up really good because you don't want to get all the oil out in the first time you use the paint. Okay, so we're going to layer our split cup, fill our split cup. And I've thought about this order based on what happened and where everything happened. In that one, we had the orange on one side and the uh, quinacridone violet on the other. And that's why we ended up with a very orange and violet painting. So this time, I'm going to start with the turquoise on one side. Oh, hello, Gail. And that's why I put the windscreen on the microphone. <laughs> I knew she was going to rear up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to put that pearl green from Amsterdam next to that in the second chamber. And then we're going to put the copper in the middle. So I'm having a lot of fun, like just mental exercise, thinking about color combinations and how I want them and where I would layer them in this cup. And I don't know, it's just been very entertaining for me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the Payne's Gray in the chamber next to that. And I debated about this one, about whether to put the Payne's on the other side, but I didn't want to have turquoise and panes be the main two colors in there. So that's why we put the tur the panes there and we're going to use that beautiful jadeite. Whoop. I'm going to use that jadeite right here in the last chamber. Okay. 
Okay. Alright. That's gonna be fun. Okay, so here I have a cup of drips that I scraped off the table after we did Flames of Love. And I have added a little bit more water to it to thin it down. Everything tonight is mixed with mixed pour. You can get your own mixed pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Okay, this looks pretty good. It's thinner than everything else, so I don't want to water it down too much. All right, we're going to put down this in 18 by 24. I have painted the edges and sides and put my push pins in. Get rid of that. Okay. I'm just going to pour a small puddle of this for the paint to slide around in. Does it seem like there's like stuff all over because of that wind? <laughs> okay, here we go. A little puddle in the middle. And we're going to use the rest as a flow extender. I'm just going to spread that out just a spidge. A little in the middle, but she got much back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so in Flames of Love, I went this way, then I came back, and then I went around again, and then I had this weird idea to go through, and I didn't like it where I went through the composition, so I'm not going to be doing that again. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost. Okay, we're going to pour this from up high and nice and slow. So something was definitely thinner this time because the paint was coming out a lot faster, which is a good thing I think because it seemed like the last video we did I was pouring it for eternity. Um, okay, we're gonna go around this now with the flow extender. I love the jadeite with the streaks of Payne's gray coming through. I love that turquoise with the copper and the ugh, pretty pretty pretty. I'm happy. So in the last one, there was one side that I liked better than the other, and for some reason I tilted that way first. This time I want to tilt the part that I like, which is definitely this part. I want to have that anchored up here before we start messing with this, because there's a lot of paint right there that I can sacrifice. So I am going to put a little bit more of the flow extender over here, just because I want to ensure that this part moves easily and I can get it where I want it to go. Okay, so let's go this way first and see what happens.
little now that we've got this side mostly dealt with. I'm going to take it down and we're going to get rid of some of this down at the bottom. This right here where it's opening up is so cool. So the last video when I was editing it, I was like, I just tilted it out and it was just covering the canvas and I was like, oh that's so cool. And then I kept tilting it and I kept tilting it and I kept tilting it and I was like, stop tilting. Probably how you guys yell at me too. But when you're here, the perspective is different than when you're watching it. So that's the reason sometimes it doesn't happen. In this case right now, we just need to get rid of that purple corner. We have plenty of paint on here still. So we're just gonna move this down. Line up where we want the paint to come off. And we'll bring it back. And we're gonna open up this whole top section we're going to move back over towards the other corner again. Okay, that's looking pretty cool actually. What do you think HOA? Yeah. paint gray that's coming through and open them up. Watch them really cool. Okay. okay. That's looking awesome. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I love this actually. I'm loving these colors. The jadeite with the against that copper and against the paint's gray right in there is really cool. I'm hoping some of that pearl will show up. Um, there is one or two little parts that I'm not entirely crazy about that I'd like to do that finger dip in right here where it's really round. Right, HOA? Uh -huh. that okay and I'm not gonna mess with it any more than that I'm loving this though I love these little cells that are popping up in here this part's so cool yay I'm happy. I love this. It's very mountain range with lava on top. <laughs> I don't know. This is really beautiful in here though. I'm loving this and these lines and this flow and this depth from the Payne's Gray is really, really pretty. And I guess I am seeing some of that white right along the edge here, which is really, really pretty. It's doing this beautiful feathering thing. Oh, that's cool. I've never really seen that like that before. That's awesome. Looks like there's light hitting it. Is it going to change everything? Okay, we're going to just stay right there, I think. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Now I'm going to torch this. I keep wiping my hands and then touching the paint because I'm excited. <laughs> Let's torch this. I 
think it goes this way, so I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it the right way. I love that there's just a tiny bit of purple right there on that corner from our flow extender <laughs> and on this one too. All right, this is awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you again to Fiona for this amazing technique that's so much fun. I encourage you guys to try it. Have a good time. Play with your color combinations. Figure out what goes where and what it does when it's in that chamber and then, you know, go from there. So this is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I'll show you this one to try it. We'll be right back. We are still a little bit of paint left. Um, let's do a 12 by 12. I'm going to use my six ounce Tracy Reed split cup for this one. And I'm going to leave out the jadeite this time because I want to see if that pearl green from Amsterdam actually does what it's supposed to do. So we're going to put turquoise in this outer chamber here. And then we're going to go with the copper. Just enough paint left. <laughs> Okay, now this is, I probably should have put the pearl on the end, but we'll see what happens. It'll be pretty striking. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my drips that I just scraped off the table. I'm going to pour a little puddle. Okay. There we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I love. Alrighty, I'm just gonna put tiny. Eh, I'm not gonna even bother with flow extender because, well, alright. Fine. This whole thing here it starts to lose it for me around here so let's anchor this top part let's, let's move it around and see where it wants to go Ooh, that's kind of nifty but let's take it back this way first and get rid of that weirdness on the corner okay the center This way. Come off this corner here. Get back to the middle. I wish there was a little more of that white there, but it's okay. Mm 
bubble there. Turquoise. I just wanted to get rid of that weird part with the copper and the turquoise. That's like a cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Done. I love this. So cool. in the house. Right. So there's the jadeite, that sort of soft green, which is interesting because it's shifty and sometimes looks very silvery pale. Very cool stuff. HOA and I have been debating on what to call this one <laughs> and what we see. He still sees fjords. I see water, but then I just saw an elephant frolicking in the water, which I kind of love, so I think we're going to go with that. I don't know if you could see him. That little volcano part in the middle would be his eye, and then his head, and then his trunk curving up and around, and there's the tip of his trunk. No, no, no. This is water. the top of his head, there's his <laughs> eye, there's his mouth, and his trunk was this Maybe way. that's the other oh, it's, elephant. it's an elephant mermaid. Look at that, okay, elephant mermaid. You're weird. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> I get that a lot. I know. But we're loving this one. This one is so cool. And I do actually see that Amsterdam pearl green came through all around here with these little lightning bolts into the turquoise. The phthalo is just gorgeous. And of course our Payne's, Payne's gray is what gave us these beautiful lines and these shadows and that depth, which is giving it a very 3D. Now I can't unsee the elephant. That's all I see. <laughs> It's cool. He's frolicking in the water and playing and the sunset is behind him, I guess. But this one turned out awesome. I really like it. I love everything. Interestingly enough, I thought I was going to absolutely love the jadeite, but I'm actually not liking that as much as everything else. But that's okay. You know, it's all good. This is how we figure out what we like. But it does look really cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to show you guys the little one too. Oh, you want to hold it? Thank you, darling. You're so nice. Okay. Tilt it a little bit so I can see the seas. All you see is there's the Amsterdam green, pearl green, and then tilty tilty that your way. It's like sideways like this. I don't know if you see the green. I don't know if you can see it on here. But you see those beautiful wispy lines. That's all. It turns like this crazy green sometimes. And I love, love, love that copper. Copper obsession is back, ladies and gentlemen. We're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, HOA. So, I lost. This was awesome. Very, very pleased with this, with my frolicking elephant at sunset. <laughs> okay. This was cool. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys will check out everybody else on Sunday train. I know we had the Massey boys this morning and Gina DeLuca right before me. And then mine, and then Brian Siglarski from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, and I think Nate Bright Art is going right after him. So, a nice little train for y'all today. We will see you guys real soon. See you. Bye.